Sorry about the glasses, but it is very sunny in March here in Thailand. I think it's better to have glasses on than to scroll with you the whole video. Hi, my name is George. I like to share my views on mindfulness, how to achieve inner peace and how to be truly happy. I will now continue to share my story with you about my mindfulness journey. But first, if you want to see more of the similar content, check out my channel and subscribe. I have successfully transferred the responsibility for the company to the new owner and did all the other necessary preparations. Sadly, my dog died next year. She was my final reason to hold my move. After some time, I booked the ticket, but it was return ticket just in case I needed to come back, and started looking for the house for rent on the Andaman coast. Meanwhile, I was lucky again because my friends from Thailand were visiting Serbia. So they came to my house and stayed for the famous Exit Music Festival held in my city. It allowed me to show them the place I was living in so they can seek some similar house in the same surroundings, quiet and a bit isolated. They were kind enough to make an effort and they came up with the beautiful home in which I am living since. Of course, nothing goes smoothly. A few days before their visit, I got so sick that I ended up in hospital. It was some inner ear problem, so I lost all my balance. Fortunately, I was not losing the balance in my life, so I have managed even to do a walking meditation practice in the hospital as a part of my therapy to restore the balance in my ear. On one note, people often complain about hospitals and lack of care and living conditions. I had quite a different experience and I cannot stress enough how much I was looked after and how all staff was professional and kind. I have noticed that I use in my videos often the words friends and luck. Well, those two words are firmly connected because I was lucky and maybe a little bit deserve to have such a good and supportive friends. On the other hand, their friendship enabled me to be fortunate because we all created an environment where you can have luck. After all, I did everything else that I could to succeed. So those two are inseparably connected in my mind as they are in my life. A few days before my move, I had an extraordinary experience when my friends and colleagues from work threw me a farewell party. It was so emotional, but carrying all the positive and happy feelings that I will never forget that day. That morning that I headed to the airport, I had an early breakfast with my brothers. We eat burek. This was the meal I will not have the opportunity to eat in Thailand. On the way to the airport, I experienced only the regular kind of traveling excitement, like for every other trip. I did not feel differently, even if I knew that I will be away for a long time. In fact, I knew that I will not be away, but the Thailand will be my new home for some years to come. I genuinely love airports and air travel, so I enjoyed this trip as many other trips before. Then, after almost the whole day of flying, I landed in Phuket. This was my first step in my mindfulness journey. I will continue to share my experience of my life in Thailand and thoughts about mindfulness in the next videos. I hope these tales will help some of you to embark on the mindfulness journey on their own. Let me know what you want to know the most and how can I help you with my experience. You can find out more following the links in the description below. Please comment, subscribe, like, share and help me grow this channel. See you next week.